If you're going to Vietnam, you've probably worked it out by now that it's a little tricky to find the official website. It took me quite a bit of time to find it, but in the end, I consulted my nationalities embassy in Vietnam, and I was able to find the official link, which you see on the screen here. It does look a little, but it is the official link. So once you read through this, what you next need to do is click on personally apply for e-visa. On this page, they're just showing you basically what is required. It's actually pretty nice that they're giving you a visual of what's expected of you. There are other visas out there where they don't tell you anything until you start doing the form and you're scrambling. So it's nice of Vietnam to give you the information that you need. They want your passport copy. They tell you basically here's how you pay the fee. Here are the costs, the processing time. Nobody ever tells us the processing time. So thank you, Vietnam. Then it's gonna tell you about your registration code and you need to basically check in with the e-visa search menu. Um, it's just one of those things you have to like log back in to get your visa information. And so once you've done this, just confirm you've read everything carefully and go ahead and click next. So on this page, it's pretty straightforward. You need to fill in your information. Um, they also wanna know, how, do you have any other nationalities? If you have more than one, definitely fill it in. Um, and then they want to know basically when are you coming, your passport details, your contact information, the purpose of your trip. They want to know where you're entering and exiting Vietnam. So if you don't know, definitely check with your tour operator. If you've booked this all yourself, look at your flights, see what airport you're flying into. It's probably a good start. Then your intended address in Vietnam. I would just put the name of the first hotel you're staying at. That's what I did. Then it's asking, have you been to Vietnam in the last year? Do you have any relatives there? How much are you bringing? What is your trip cost roughly? And basically who's funding your trip? And once you've done this, make sure you enter everything truthfully. You do those annoying little captchas that they have at the bottom, and then make sure you tick that box to say you've understood and you've assured everything is correct. And you click to review the application form. So once you've hit like the review application form, you're going to get this pop up eventually. It's going to take a little bit of time while it loads and processes everything. When this screen does appear, I would screenshot it. I wouldn't write anything down. Just screenshot it. This information is really important. That registration code that you see, definitely you have to have a note of this. Take a picture of it with your phone, screenshot, whatever. Once you've done this, go ahead and click OK. So once you've clicked that pop up, it's going to take you back to that page that shows your application and you scroll down like I've done and it's going to show you basically what your bill is. So you then want to click on payment, read through it, make sure everything is correct. If it's not correct, you just start over again, but if it's all correct. Go ahead and click agree and then pay e visa fee. So on this page, you can see here we've got the different payment options. You just click how you're going to pay click whichever card it is, and then it's going to load here where you're going to basically input your card details. And once you've done that, click continue. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to put my card details in. I've already been to Vietnam. I just didn't record myself doing the application, which I should have done in hindsight. But what happens next is you're going to receive an email basically saying, well done, you've paid. If you don't, it could be in your spam, but just double check it's all gone through. You're then going to receive this registration code in this email. And remember that registration code I told you to hold on to? This is the code. And then, so it will also tell you about when you should receive the e-visa results. Mine took about, I would say, three days at most. It came quite quickly. If you want to check the status of your visa application, you can log in again using your visa code. And then once it's approved, Ideally, you're going to get your email notification. If you don't, just keep checking your account. And then what you need to do is download and print that e-visa in PDF format. I would keep a copy on your phone just in case, but I took about three copies. One of them was taken from immigration, so it's just good to have a few copies on hand in case you do need to show proof. It's that easy.